went to a manufacturing employment expo. All of our students went with their resumes. Resumes were accompanied by a portfolio, work they've done, drawings that they've done on Mastercam, programs that they've created, uh, examples of the programs that they've completed, and several of our students were hired uh, right on the spot. If you're going to make a living doing something you enjoy, that's the best way for it to go. Um, hi, my name is Jim Clark, and I'm here at uh, AI Prince Technical High School in Hartford, Connecticut. We have the automated manufacturing department here at AI Prince Tech, which is the only school in the state Botex system that offers that. One of my students, Jesus, is quite the go-getter. I remember him coming in as a freshman, and you couldn't slow him down. He was just nonstop. We got him a copy of the Mastercam student disc that he loaded on his personal uh, laptop and he began uh, designing parts at home. And he was a car nut, and he started designing parts for his own car, his dad's car, his cousin's car, and uh, it really, really took off. When he was in the 10th grade, one of those parts, um, he was comparing to something that he saw online, and he liked his much better. Uh, he took it one step further. He borrowed money from his grandfather and put a patent um, on it. I came here as a freshman not knowing what I wanted to become or what I wanted to be. So I met Clark and Clark started talking to me about all the opportunities that there are in the machining industry. He explained to me what I can do in this shop, what, I, what is possible. And so I started thinking, I was like, wow, I really like this shop, it's hands on. You still work with cars. He told me a lot of um, machine shops. Uh, race teams that use machines to make their parts and I was thinking why don't I make my own parts on drag racing cars they have covers that go on the computers but usually they're all bulky aluminum I'm like why can't we just make one that looks nice so I designed this cover um, all the machining and all the engraving was done on Mastercam it's just the little details that make a show car stand out from all the rest and it was company creating fender washers but they were just big and bulky and ugly looking so I was like I want to make them better as I made them better, I told people how I made them and where I made them. And they were astonished how these were made in the United States by a 14-year-old kid who goes to a technical school using Mastercam. A lot of people think it's a complicated software, but once you get used to it, you play around with it, and you understand what the software is telling you, then you can machine anything possible in your mind. The most thing I liked about Mastercam was it being user-friendly, and I was thinking, wow, if I'm only 15 and sophomore in high school at AI Prince Tech, then imagine who else could use it. I was using this software since freshman, so if I'm a sophomore now and I know how to use it, imagine what I'll be able to do when I'm a senior.